Happy Saturday. How you doing? Weather is nice. Looking good for tomorrow, so I think my Father's Day cookout should go off without a hitch. Be early in the afternoon. So then my daughters and son-in-laws can go see their father-in-laws. They'll split up from here. They each go their own way. So it's looking good for everyone. Like I said, man, all your dads out there, you know, and if you're a granddad, I hope you get to spend tomorrow with, you know, people that mean the most to you in your life. Oh, you know, maybe it could be like job. I'd be sitting on here, you know, watching people's videos all day or making videos all fucking day. You know, yeah, guess who's back? Back again. Job is back. Tell a friend. Knew that was happening. See, Jabba, you're just like Sanford. You know, very predictable. Other people see it. You know, when you put up your big, long, you know, heartfelt, oh, I'm, I'm giving up, I'm done, I, I can't do any more to it, and I'm going as far as I am. You know, you put shit out, and then it comes back to bite you in the ass. You ring the fucking dinner bell. You know, you invite a shark to dinner, then get pissed off when you get bit. You're the one that rings the fucking dinner bell. Every time you open your mouth, you leave yourself wide open for criticism in every area. Boy, you try to talk about cars and this and that, the more stupid you sound. You prove you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You've proven you don't know what you're doing in all this time. You've got to keep redoing the same shit over it. You can't even put gaskets in. You know what I mean? i got to go back and redo this. i got to redo that. i got to, you know. You keep putting Band-Aids on that broken leg, man. It ain't getting fucking healed. You never will. You're not starting it, are you? What's the point of putting, get, you know, gaskets and things when it don't run? You know why it don't run. That loud bang recently when... Bang, and it locked up and came to a sudden stop. That thing's all fucked up, man. You know? What's the point of putting gaskets, stopping an oil leak? It ain't going to run. You're not even going to need any oil in that fucking thing, you know? But it's to get you attention. You know, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. You're a fucking hoop. You know, somebody, few people say, oh, yeah, he's leaving again. From what I understand, every, every few months you do that, you have a big meltdown, uh -huh. That's it, I'm all done. I can't, I can't do this no more. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Turn your back in a day or two. You can't stay away. You need the fucking attention. You have attention stop. You're an egomaniac. You're a narcissist. You're a sociopath. Just like Sanford. You know. Hey, but I got a question for you. You know, what I said yesterday, what I showed with two cars I put some work into, mine and my brother's, that's nothing. That's nothing compared to what I did to my two Pontiacs when I built the 421 Super Duty. 428 Super Duty, and I'm talking from the block up. My Ford and SGJ 428. It's far more extensive work what I put into those and all the assembly and the setup and the tuning, you know, and then driving them and racing them. There was an end result that was productive, incredible. You know, what the fuck have you done? If I got a question, did you understand a single fucking thing I said? Did you understand a single fucking thing? You know? I know guys like Will, Nolan, Dave, Kenny Brackett, Mark, my crazy ass friend Jerry Hatchett. You know, you know Jerry knows exactly where I live. His parents live two fucking streets over from me. Jerry knows <laughs> exactly where I am. You know, I knew his parents. <laughs> Uh, he understood. You know, Mark, Ryan, hey, Java, I know they all knew right away when I put that 396 crank in the LS6454. They was the only crank I could find for a decent price and that needed a minimal amount of machine work to get it fresh enough to get it in so I could put that thing back together. And I had to redo it all. I put new rods, pistons, went right through it, you know. Um, do you know what happened to that 454 when I put that 396 crank in it? Do you know what happened to that engine? I know all these other guys knew right away. Do you know what happened to that engine? Do you know anything about boring stroke? That 396 crank. See, all Chevy big blocks. 396, 427, 454. They're all the same blocks, just a matter of boring stroke. They all had what was called the porcupine stagger valve heads, you know. Just a matter of which ones, like the LS had a solid lifter cam, made more horsepower, had 12 and a half to one compression. 
you know, the lower rated versions with, you know, 10 and a half to 1 compression. Same thing with the 427. They had different versions of it from 390 hard space to 400 to 430 to 435. 396, you already got three. They had three, 325 horse was the base 396. You know, a lot of SS Chevelles and Novas and Camaros running around with the 396. But 325 horse. 350 horse was a step up option that cost a few bucks. You wanted a 375 horse version, you know. That now you got a woman in intake and a hallway double pumper, you know, instead of a cast iron and a Rochester on the other ones and packed more compression. That was a very high priced option. Not all of them had that big. AC 396 or 375 plus. No, no, no. A very small percentage of them. You ran it crossing the street. Were, you know, very few of them with a 375 plus. So, do you know what happened to that 454 when I put that 396 crank in it? Should I keep you hanging in suspense seeing you know so much about cars? You know, the more you talk about cars, you're going to do this. So, Mr. Brian, he's so fucking unorganized. He's got all kinds of shit thrown in. The he's trying, oh, what's this? What's that? Oh. Well, look, a hinge. He said he had to show the hinge for something. It was all rusty, but he painted it. Hey, Java, that's how you fix shit. You just fucking paint it like, you know, your valves are all out of fucking whack. You know, you couldn't adjust your fucking rockers, you know. So what do you do? Paint the valve covers. <laughs> all better. You know what I mean? You make yourself look like a fool. You know how many people have told me, they say, man, you know, Java, if it wasn't for me, a lot of people wouldn't even know who the fuck you are. They've asked, hey, who's this fucking guy? And they've got back to me. Man, that dude's out of his fucking mind. What's wrong with him? Is he retarded? They've used the word retarded. Even I haven't used that word. They say, this guy's worse than red-green. So, you know, if if this guy was doing it as a joke like red-green, I'd understand it. What's fucked up is that this job guy, he actually takes himself serious. He actually believes he knows what the fuck he's doing, and it's obvious he does not. You know what I mean? Hey, let's get back to that. You know so much. What happened to my 454 when I put a 396 crank in it? 396 crank has a smaller stroke. It stroked it down. It became a 427 cubic inch engine. Okay? I bet you didn't know that. All these other guys knew that. Keith Clark. All these other... Right? You guys, as soon as I said, yeah, I stuck a 396 crank in it. It's the only one I could find that was affordable and needed very little machine work in it. And hey, you know, I wasn't going to lose a whole lot of cubic inches, a whole lot of horsepower, you know? And it served the purpose, what I was going to be using that car for. I wasn't going to be a race car. Just something to fuck around on the street with and have fun with it, you know? All you guys knew it became a 427. Did you know that, Jabba? Did you know that? Well, anyway, yeah, I heard he's back. Hey, is Jabba, uh, Jabba. Sanford put up any more videos concerning the power tour? I know there's a shitload on here. Well, it's been like that every year, right? Everybody that went, they're putting up multiple videos a day, showing the gathering, the crowds, the events, guys doing donuts, this, that, the other thing, burnouts. You know, it seems like it's a good time for people, you know, there's quite a few, you know, some junk mixed in with it too, but for the most part, it seems like some pretty decent cars here, you know, guys are having a good time, you know, all these videos are up, except none from Sanford, none from Sanford, just his car on the side of a road, some road near his fucking house somewhere, he went out and staged it, like he staged his race with Sandy, so Sandy could let him win, everything he does is staged, just to get attention for a fucking video to get views, you know what I mean? I gotta go, Kenny just pulled up. Have a great day, have fun, and stay safe.